All right, Libra, welcome to your weekly sidereal astrology forecast for November 23rd through the 29th. My name is Athen, and this is for sidereal astrology, very different from mainstream astrology, which you can find more about down below. All right, Libra, so this week, another very important week in this later part of November, we've got a full moon in Taurus of your eighth house here midweek. We've got Saturn squaring up to Neptune exact here on Thursday, and both the Sun and Mercury going over Saturn here throughout the week. So very serious week, a week of patience, hard work, discipline for all of us. This, of course, more so depends on your personal charts, but collectively, this is uh, what's going on. So we'll start with the most general and also the most important is this full moon uh, here in your eighth house, which is everything deep. It's everything about what's really meaningful to you in life. It's about your attachments and also the things that you're in bondage to. Now, bondage doesn't always I don't mean that in just a negative connotation. It could just also be your bonds in life, those people you're close to, those things you're close to, things like that. Not so much on the material side, but more so on the emotional side of things. So that's really being illuminated. It could even be culminating over the past, from over the past six months, involving anything new that you feel like is deep. And um, it could be a you know, relationship, it could be career, it could be home, family, whatever it might be. And overall, it's just a great time to see you know, who we are, uh, on an instinctual, on a, on a human level, you know, because we're all human and we all have, you know, these quote unquote lower aspects of self. So through that awareness, it's a great opportunity to accept who we are and embrace that. And then the healing naturally takes place. So it's going to be different for all of you. For some of you, it could be shared resources. It could be more of that sort of stuff. For some of you, it could be more on the inner level. But um, essentially, the eighth house is about everything that is meaningful and true in life. So that's going to be uh, the illuminating point and the culminating point. Now, this full moon is going to be trending up to Mars. So there is a lot of motivation, a lot of drive available uh, this week involving that awareness of what's meaningful to you, as well as maybe some uncertainty and doubt with that, which has been the name of the game with Saturn squaring up to Neptune. So the key with this is that it's important for us to constructively work towards our future, be patient, but work hard, you know, which is Saturn, but not so hard that we don't have any faith and trust or that we get too caught ego ego centered around it and too caught up into it right it's important to have this balance between um, having faith and working hard towards our future so that's been the square energy and that full moon is going to be forming that t-square now it's been more so perhaps the uncertainty involving the financial material stuff perhaps which has been saturn in your second house and your self-expression okay which could be things like uh, romance, children, creativity, entrepreneurship, or anything we create in life. So the key is to work hard, but have that faith in those areas, as well as the deeper aspects this middle part of the week with this full moon. But uh, Mars, like I said, very supportive. In fact, Mars is going to be sextiling up to Saturn this first half of the week. So there is a lot of energy here to be driven, to work hard, to do that slow, patient, and steady thing when it comes to cultivating your values, whether it's financial or otherwise. You know, um, this is the house of essentially our material values, being grateful for what we have and, um, yeah, moving forward slowly. And, you know, this is all coming at the time of uh, Thanksgiving. So for those of us in the States, so there is this uh, gratitude that can certainly come in, even though, you know, it does take hard work and faith in the process. All right. So that's going to be the overall energies of the week. This uh, first couple days of the week, your ruler Venus does oppose up to Uranus. So do keep everything nice and grounded. Um, it's a great time to bring in some more freedom, maybe from the uh, routine and health stuff, you know, whatever you do on a daily basis or the work. So uh, be open to that, but take it slow. And it could be that maybe something sudden, something unexpected there might be prompting you to get some more rest, get some more relaxation, some more meditative time to have more of that faith and trust in your life, which is essentially this 12th house, which has been your ruler Venus and Mars transiting Virgo. So that's going to be these first couple of days. And then um, this same time as this full moon, Mercury goes over Saturn. So especially when it comes to our thoughts, our communication, for you, your outlook on life and your philosophy, your view of life, take it slow. All right. I'm really iterating this because a lot of there's a lot of the Saturn energy. It's a very Saturnian week. So it could be serious thinking, but don't see things more serious than how they are. And again, it's all about constructively building and working on these material values here. 
Now, in terms of um, a little bit later in the week, Chiron goes station direct in that fifth. So there is some more healing taking place with your self-expression, which has been going through a rejuvenation process over the past many years. So healing there, even though there's uncertainty with that, there's that, you know, acceptance and everything coming to the surface to be accepted. OK, and so through that going into next week, it could be quite rejuvenating involving your creations and the things you express. And then over the weekend, the sun then goes over Saturn. So again, especially over the weekend, a seriousness of focus and uh, maybe even uncertainty. But uh, for you, it might be more so specifically relating to your, again, financial stuff, material stuff and also groups or organizational stuff. OK, but take it nice and slow, ground it, because like I've been saying with Saturn, this is a time period to work hard. It's a time period to take it nice and slow. And through that, we can really build those ideals that we've had for many years involving our future. But it'll only come through the, um, you know, patient approach of climbing that mountain, but uh, one step at a time. All right. So Libra, have a great week. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Take care.